Hi there folks, welcome back to the IBN Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well. It is day two, and actually the final day of my little uh, Usk adventure for this March. Uh, yesterday was a really tough day. Uh, learned a few lessons, caught one nice fish, couple on jig streamers, but I've taken what I've learned from day one and I'm definitely gonna carry it over into day two. I think the big thing I took from day one is that actually I needed some way of searching the water. I need, a, I need another rig here to be able to cover a bit more water because I'm not just going to find dry fly fish all day. So I'm going to take the spider rod with me today. I'm going to fish North Country spiders kind of across and down fairly traditionally. It's a great method. It's massively underrated. It is a stunning day today. It's absolutely beautiful. Blue sky. It's warm. The only problem we've got is there is an absolutely heaving upstream wind. Now yesterday the wind was downstream. <laughs> that was a real pain. This time it is absolutely walloping up the river uh, i've actually been i've actually been fishing for about 45 minutes already it's just the wind was so strong where i started fishing there's nowhere i could film the intro the sound would have been terrible so i've already fished for about an hour i have caught a fish already i've already got one in the bag but i've just started to notice a few march browns and a few large dark olives hatching off so i'm on my way to some dry fly flats see if we can pick up a few fish on the dries in march let's go for it First pool of the day, and I've chosen to go in with a spider's rig. Now, there might be a bit of recency bias here because this is a rig that I didn't use yesterday that I thought I should have. So we're going to give it a go. That wind certainly isn't going to make this easy, but we'll do our best. Just see if these fish are high in the water, looking for, looking for bugs coming down. Wow, that wind. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is already within two casts. This is already looking highly, highly unlikely. That is howling. I didn't realize it was going to be this strong once it got in the river channel. Right, let's keep that rod tip a bit lower this time. I like to fish spiders with a nice high rod tip, but that isn't going to be an option while it's this windy. Just trying to watch that line that's in the air. I see that tighten or straighten. Nice low strike to the side wind's just dropped. I'll try and fish this a bit more correctly this time. That's nice. When that wind drops, that fishes beautifully. Three flies on there. I've got a beaded water hen blower on the point, snipe and purple on the middle dropper, and I've got a hare's lug and partridge on the top dropper. They're all size 14s. Just see my first fly of the day. I was going to say drift upstream of me then, but it didn't. It got blown upstream up of me. I don't think it had much choice about where it was going. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just at the end of the swing in that seam. Didn't think that'd take long. I felt like I was fishing pretty well. And actually, I just had five minutes there where the, the wind sort of chilled out. He's in that faster, so it'll feel a lot bigger than it probably is. Let's try and get him out of that. He's got his head down. Fishing a... A nine and a half foot three weight, nice soft rod. I like a soft rod for spider fishing because there's so much pressure put on the hook hold when you first hook them. Righty, are you done? Yeah, there we go. First one in the net. Another gorgeous little us brownie. That's what we want. Uh, obviously really nice to get off the mark already makes me think why on earth why on earth didn't I take that rod with me yesterday there was just a little bump there just wonder if I had a little tap eee, I could have had a little strike at that I reckon generally with spiders I tend to find the takes are pretty easy to see when you're swinging them like this there was just a, a weird bump about two-thirds of the way through the drift just wondering if I might have missed one there. Uh, just the one fish out of there on spiders, and to be honest, it got a wee bit busy. It looked like there was a kind of a guide client situation going on. I wanted to give those guys plenty of space. I know what that's like. <laughs> so I've moved away from there a little bit, even though there probably was a bit more fishing. And I've just come slightly further upstream on this braided section. I'm just going to give this little jig streamer a go in this pocket on the far side. It really is just a small pocket this there's probably no more than two or three minutes worth of fish in here but i think it's worth a look one more of these pockets and then i'm going in search of risers because there are definitely flies hatching nice thing about using these heavy jig streamers is even with that stiff upstream wind 
I've still got really good contact with the flight just because of, of the weight of it. And I guess the other thing is, oh, that was right. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I had a take. I was so, so busy looking at the fish that rose. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. There are definitely flies hatching. I've got to go and find myself a flat. Right, so I've basically just ran to the other end of the beach. I'm absolutely knackered uh, to an area that I've had good dry fly fishing on in the past. There's a couple of flats, some slightly more open pooly stuff. I've sat on it for five minutes. I haven't seen a rise yet. It is still a wee bit early. Literally the second I said that fish has risen in front of me. So I was just about to say, I'm going to give the jig streamer a go. I am not. I'm getting that dry fly rod. Right. <laughs> Let's try that again. So I've seen a mixture of olives and March browns in the air, but as the olive didn't work yesterday, I'm going to go with the March brown first. That fish was just on the edge of the bubble line. In fact, that is absolutely smack on where it was. Funny drift. Oh yeah, I am getting some... I'm getting a fair amount of funk there with that drift. Ooh, this is going to be a bit of a puzzle, this. If it is that I just can't get a good drift on these fish, then rather than, even though I've seen fish rise here, rather than labour it too much, I might actually try and move. Because that wind is going to be a real problem. Oh, that was a nice rise on the far side. That's made me reconsider that it's just risen again. Okay, so I'm going to try and target that fish and it may well take out. Oh yeah, this just risen again. He's going nuts over there. Another fly going over him any minute now. Didn't see him take it. He's only about a rod length out from the far side. That's pretty much bang on. Oh, it's drag like fury. There he goes again. That's better. That's better. Okay. Got him. There we go. There we go. It's just a question of getting that good drift. It's not a huge fish, but took that March Brown emerger absolutely fine. Don't want him going down below me, that's for sure. If he gets down there, we might not see this fish again. Oh yeah, he's trying to go through the tail of the pool. I'm hoping, because there's a bit of depth on the inside, he'll come back up this inside edge a bit try and get this guy in reasonably quickly because there's loads of fish over there and the chances are a good number of them will be bigger than this it's not a tiny fish bigger than the first one hey off the mark on the dries have a quick glance at this guy proper straightforward us brownie dark reds full fins march brown muncher there are March Browns absolutely pouring off at the moment. This is why we're here. This might only last 10 or 15 minutes. I've seen a fish rise just in front of me here. Probably didn't quite cover him. There he is. There he is. <laughs> hey. Yes. Oh, he's gone flying down there as well. I think it probably is a slightly bigger fish than the one before. Took that beautifully. Just gonna dial that drag down a click. Yeah, you go for it, bud. Off he goes. Off he goes. Right, hopefully he'll do the same thing as the previous fish. He'll come up the deep water on the inside. Yeah, done exactly the same thing. It is definitely a bigger fish. That's a quality brownie. Hopefully he's tied himself out. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Third week of March, dry fly fishing. It does not get any better than this. Lovely trout. Off he goes. All right, so I'm not seeing the same number of rises as it was. Obviously, there's going to be two less fish rising because I've put them in the net. Good numbers of bugs still but probably not the number of rises that you might expect. I just wonder if I might have upset this pool a little bit. I'm just gonna give this an extra two minutes to show me something. There's loads of bugs coming down, but I might have to have a little move here. Right, so I have made a move. Moving felt like the, the braver option. 
and as I've said with March grounds large dark olives at this time of year this doesn't last for long maximum you're gonna get maybe an hour so if I just sit on that pool and wait for nothing to happen for 20 25 minutes you know, that could be it. it could be over whereas going out and looking for fish feels like the slightly braver option I've come to a, a lovely flat here nice technical flat and I have seen a couple of fish rise while I was on the bank one just above me and one just below me at about four or five rod lengths distance I haven't seen them rise since I got in it's not impossible that I've upset those fish a little bit the other thing I've noticed is there aren't there aren't loads of March browns on the water at the moment oh okay I'm gonna make an immediate snap cast it's one that's just risen upstream off me that's pretty good if you're still there you'll see that thought that looked pretty good no reaction again a bit further up and across yeah oh <laughs> second it hit the water he took it <laughs> oh damn it well uh, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be an IB and Andy vlog if I didn't miss at least one I had contact with him briefly it's a shame that looked like a nice fish ah uh, bugger do with another fish lifting here's one just one just thrashed at something way downstream of me. To be honest, guys, it's gone very, very quiet. I've seen one rise in the last five minutes. Might end up regretting missing that one. Right, so back at the previous pool, and within about 10 seconds of being here, I've seen a fish rise. It was definitely worth a look up there, and, you know, if I hit that take, then all is well in the world and it pays off. So, yeah, it's not the fish's fault that I messed it up. It's another one of those ones over on the far side that I was finding quite difficult to be honest earlier so another, oh, another one just risen that one's not quite as far across actually that's in the bubble line that's a bit short on him but we'll drift it anyway that's a fish that's a fish that's not the one I was trying to catch either that was beautiful I saw that fish come off the bottom wow he's off as well <laughs> I've noticed all these fish go absolutely tearing down into the lat stuff which is the last place you want them to go they've all well both of them did the same thing they came across it and then came back up the inside bank and he's come absolutely flying towards the inside bank this one struggling to keep in touch with him just rest in this pool for a few minutes there has clearly done some good come on there we go no the lovely brownie I'm not going to fuss around with them too much because there are still fish rising. Righty, well it's definitely not the fish I was targeting because the fish I was targeting just rose while I was getting the fly dry again. I was short by about a rod length. The line was right. That also is short by about a rod length, but <laughs> I'm not going to rice it off. <laughs> two in two cast. Jeez, they are in there. Seems to be a lot more fish in this pool than there was the first time I fished it. Again, he's gone absolutely walloping into that fast water. Thank you very much. Hopefully he does the same thing as the others. <laughs> I can't believe it. That is awesome. About the same size as the previous one. Just got his head down a little bit more. Oh, he's twisting around in that tippet. Come on. Come on, there we go. Nice. Let's check you out quickly before we put you back. Very similar size to the previous fish. March brown munchers, yes. Just gone a wee bit quiet. Oh, just as I say, that fish is risen. <laughs> it's pretty close to me as well. Yeah, that's bang on. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> so much for being pretty quiet. <laughs> I've been stood here for 10 minutes. I haven't seen so much as a fin. The second I go on to say how quiet it is, a fish rises. Ah, oh, dang it. But other than that, <laughs> it's gone pretty quiet. There's still bugs. There's still plenty of bugs. I just wonder if the same thing has happened again. I've perhaps just kind of outstayed my welcome in the pool a little bit. It's not impossible. Half a dozen blind drifts down the middle here. And if they aren't productive, we're going to have to rest this pool again. 
Well, I've sat here for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, having a little sandwich and a chill out. Nothing has happened. The bugs have stopped hatching. And to be honest, in terms of dry fly fishing, I have a feeling that's it for the day. And at this time of year, early mid-March, when you're talking about the March brown hatch in particular, this is what you buy into. You're only gonna get an hour of that fishing. And we probably have had a full hour there, lucky, given that yesterday we had like five minutes. We've had a full hour today. And even though it's been a bit windy and a bit frustrating at times, actually, caught fish on dries have risen six landed four i'm pretty happy with that but i think the chances of me putting up picking up that dry fly rod again for the rest of the day are pretty small uh, what i have got is a spider rod with me which might work it's very bright i just wonder if those fish would be in those shallow riffles or not i've also got the jig streamer rod and to be honest that's the one i'm going to pick up for the next 10 minutes i'm just going to dredge a couple of these pools see if i can pick up anything that's looking for a slightly bigger meal an easier meal and then we'll start working down from there i haven't really got a plan for the rest of the day i've got about two and a half hours left to fish well, would just like to pick up another couple to be honest it'd be really nice if it doesn't happen i don't mind too much but i just have a feeling if i keep winging that jig stream around eventually something's going to hang itself okay it is streamer twerking time let's see if we can dredge one out of this run it's a lovely looking piece of water there's one of the pools that I actually had in mind to fish on the dries but never quite made it to this one but i think there's going to be fish in there regardless it is deep that's for sure Oh, fish, there we go. <laughs> First cast. That happened yesterday. Jeez, he came charging across. Absolutely mullered it. That's a great take. I don't think it's a big fish. Jeez, did he hit that. That's the fish that's like, oh, I wanted more March Browns. Give me more food. Whee! Come on, bud. There we go. Well, that worked. Let's have a quick gander at you. Come on, it's too late now, you're in the slammer. Too late now. Streamer out. Lovely fish. Yes, please. Well, that was a good call. <laughs> okay, well, we'll throw this a little bit more, I reckon. Just let that drop a little bit. Oh, whack! <laughs> what a take that was! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Nearly took the rod out of my hands! Wow! Well, he's taking a little bit of line. I don't think it's much bigger than the previous fish. <laughs> it absolutely pulverised it. That was awesome. Well, they certainly like this streamer. It's only taken, what, another two, three casts? Possibly a slightly bigger fish? Yeah, maybe a touch. Oh, it's a bit wrapped up in the tippet at the moment. Can I net him while he's wrapped up? Yes. Well, <laughs> that certainly worked. Quick glance at him. We'll get him straight back. Where are you, bud? Nice fish. Slightly bigger. Not much in it. Well, there we go. <laughs> the jig stream has worked in here. Get a chance to drop. Couple of taps. I'm not ripping this back. You know, we're trying to imitate bullheads and they don't swim quickly and they don't swim long distances. Just little taps and then let it drop. Little tap and let it drop. I think a lot of people work streamers too quickly on rivers, particularly at this time of year. Remember the trout we're fishing for, the metabolisms will be very, very slow. They won't be flying around the bottom of this river. Try that one straight upstream. It's nice soft water on the inside there. So I would have thought that'd have been if they were taking dries. Whether or not that's the right place to fish for them on the stream, I don't know. If I was look Oh god, there's a fish just risen just in front of me. Exactly where I was talking about. Will he take the streamer? Yes he will. <laughs> what an absolute burgle of a fish that was. Oh, he's come off. I probably deserve that. <laughs> Made the journey down to South Wales to find trout eating March browns and then catch them on a streamer. Nicely done, Andy. Absolute freaking heathen. There's a big bit of me that regrets not going back and getting the dry fly rod. 
<laughs> it's just, you kind of have to take those shots as they present themselves, don't you? But I do kind of wish I'd gone back and got the dry rod for that. You know, looking for rising fish, you find one. Don't throw the jig streamer at it, Andy. Well guys, we've got to about quarter past three now. The afternoon is starting to wear on. The sun is gonna to start to drop fairly soon. I have definitely kind of given up on the idea of any more dry fly action. That said, I have kept the dry fly rod with me just in case, even though the wind keeps blowing. Uh, maybe I might get another shot, but it's highly unlikely. I've set myself a bit of a weird target. I've changed over the jig streamer rod just to a normal urine infant outfit. And my target is just to catch one or two fish on that, which would make four techniques for the day all catching fish. We've caught on spiders, we've caught on dries, we've caught on the jig streamers. If we can get one, you're an infant as well, conventional you're an infant, that'd be four techniques. And that probably is about the story for this time of year. You need to have a few different irons in your fire, a few different arrows in your quiver, whatever you want to call it, just to make sure that as the day progresses, as conditions change, you've got options. There's no way you're going to turn up in the middle of March, fish for four or five hours and do the whole thing on dry flies. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna jump into a riffle behind me. If I could get one or two out there, that'd be absolutely lovely. I would be very, very satisfied with the day's fishing and I'm probably gonna call it at that. Righty, gonna have to keep fairly well down here because I'm casting a whacking great shadow right over the river. Uh, I've got two nymphs on, I've got a peeping caddis on the point. And I've got an orange collar pheasant tail on the dropper. Oh, man, I can't cast. Got too used to casting that jig stream. Throw that up there, fish the inside first, and then we'll gradually work our way across. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes, because this has been fished fairly well today by uh, Robin. Big shout out to Robin, by the way, who I bumped into on the river, who actually watches the channel. So pleasure spending an afternoon sharing a river with him. Let's see if he's left me any fish in this riffle. There's a police helicopter that's been backwards and forwards for the last five minutes. They're clearly looking for someone on foot. Because just while I was getting stuff set up, getting the cameras in position, it actually hovered over me for a couple of minutes. <laughs> there was a split second where I thought, oh God, did they see me make a cast at a fish that just rose with a jig streamer? Is this, is this what happens? Unfortunately, they lost interest in me pretty quickly. No obvious interest in this yet. I am thinking about going slightly heavier on that point fly though. Possibly even switch into three flies because there is some serious depth in front of me. Righty, that's a little bit of rigging done. So we've got an even heavier peeping caddis on the point, uh, and I've also put a, a middle dropper on now. We've got a nice chunky pheasant tail, so that should get us down a little bit faster. And straight away, that looks pretty good. Okay, we'll keep working up this pool. It looks so good that I am expecting a take through here. Nothing on the inside. We'll see if we can. Get a drift down the outside. It doesn't look like that's going to be straightforward though. I'm going to need to be a little bit further out than that. Move upstream a little bit. There he is, finally. Jeez, it's taking a little while to find one in there. Eventually got to take. Wee, wee. He's just got a little head of steam up in that fast water. Jeez, fished a, fished a lot of water there without any reward. Like playing them in this fast water. Just dial that drag down a touch. Wow, he is like death rolling over there. Could do without that. Are you gonna chill out a bit now? No, he hates, he hates the fact that I'm pulling him into the sun. It's quite a nice fish that. Yeah. There's always time for one more. Let's have a little gander at you. I will say he has turned that rig into absolute fricking spaghetti, doing all the rolling and stuff, but uh, you don't mind for those, do you? It's a lovely fish. That's what we wanted. Nice. Nothing else at the top of the pool, so I've dropped down to the very bottom. And if I don't catch fish out of here, then that is the end of the day. And if I do catch fish out of here, that is also the end of the day. <laughs> I've had a really, really nice day. I've really enjoyed this and I don't feel like I need to absolutely wallop them out on your infant kit to prove anything. I've come across here pretty quickly, I hit a couple of snags on the way through, so I've ended up quite a lot further across this pool than I anticipated coming. Again, I'm looking at that 
far side seam. There we go. So I'm, I'm probably nowhere near the, probably no, oh wow, that wind, all of there, everything's just gone nuts at once. I'm nowhere near the second camera. Just got a little bit carried away walking down this pool. That might be a decent fish, that. Oh, the backing knot was stuck. Took me a few minutes there to get a take. As I say, I've got a bit carried away. I ended up walking downstream a little bit to find another fish. Alrighty. Can we get you in the net? Oh, it's a bit wrapped up, that's why it went nuts. Can we get you in the net? Yes, we can. Get in. I never get tired of that feeling. Ah, what a day. Okay, buddy. Let's have a look at you. It was a bit wrapped up in the tippet, so I sorted all that out first, got the hook out. Lovely, rusty, dark, us brownie. And the last one of the trip. <sighs> what a feeling, what a day. Back to the car, back to real life. What a nice way to finish that was. A couple of fish there within 10-15 oh, minutes of each other on the urine infant kit. It turned out there were still one or two in there, particularly over on that far side seam. Uh, both nice fish as well, both good quality fish. I am so happy with how today went. Yesterday was really tough. I made it pretty tough by being there a bit late. Uh, the weather sucked yesterday. That, that dark sky was never going to work with the March Brown Hatch. They like the extra light. They like a bit of warmth. We had it today and it worked and they hatched and it was awesome i have loved that so much good quality dry fly fishing all in the space of an hour maybe absolutely perfect that is exactly what i needed i'm not sure how much better today could have gone caught on three different rods four different rigs uh, loads of dry fly action covered loads of water weather was beautiful see i've caught the sun a little bit in march typical and i think that was a really nice way to finish one thing I definitely need to do is give a big shout out to Kieran Jenkins, a friend of mine who's actually from around here, who works locally. I got in touch with Kieran the day before I came down because I realised I wasn't going to have time to tie any March Browns. I was like, hey, is there any chance you could just do me half a dozen March Browns or if you've got any, I can kind of buy some off you. And he's like, yeah, 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 no problem. Meet me at the factory. So I went down to meet him and he presented me with a box full of March Brown patterns. You can see I've put a good number of those into my box. Kieran, thank you very much. The fly that's caught every fish off the top was your March brown pattern, so that is much appreciated. I'm going to stop waffling and start driving. As ever, a pleasure to have you here. IB and I will be back again soon with some more fishing and stuff. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.